All right, here we go. This one is going to be a 9mm versus 357 SIG test. And the rounds we're going to be using today is the Federal HST. In 9mm, we are using 124 grain plus P. And 357 SIG, we're going to be doing the 125 grain. So that's what both of these look like. Really good looking round for the 9mm. And same for the 357 SIG. And we're going to try to do the best comparison we can. So we do have our brand new Glock 17 Gen 1. That is a full size, four and a half inch barrel. And we do have our Gen 4 Glock 33. That is a 3.42 inch barrel. So basically three and a half inch. So we do have one inch of barrel length gain on that nine millimeter. So we're going to see if we can come close to power. A lot of people talk about nine millimeters saying it's uh, just as hot as the 357 SIG and plus P plus and all that stuff. So we're going to see if we can uh, prove that that's not true. And even out of this short barrel, we do get some pretty spicy velocity. So here we go. We do have our gel block that it is a 10% block with our four layers of cotton t-shirt on the front. Do have our jugs in the back just in case you do get that pass through. And we do have our chronograph. So what we'll do is we'll set it up right here in front of this gel so we can hopefully get that impact velocity. We'll see what both these rounds can do. Here we go. All right, here we go. This first one up is the 124 plus P. We are stepping back to 15 feet. All right, let's see how we did on that one. All right, so our impact velocity on that one was 1,208 feet per second. So it's not too bad for that uh, plus P9. And our cotton t-shirt did end up falling on the ground. Probably won't be able to see, but we did have our entry and exit somewhere in there <laughs> so there is our four layers let's move this block over and there is the entry hole on this one pretty massive entry nice big star pattern on that one looking really good so far and let's see that side view man that thing did awesome so this block isn't as clear as it used to be, but I'm pretty sure you can still get an idea what it's doing. So it looks like as soon as we entered, probably quarter inch or less, that thing started expanding. So we got a massive stretch cavity on that one, coming all the way through. And it doesn't really look like it settled down too much. It kind of starts right here, but you can still see that nasty spiral cutting pattern in there. So let's see what we got on this one for our stretch. And like I said, I will cut these when we get back to the house so we can get a better idea. This one is right at two and three quarters. So that's pretty good. Definitely a bigger cavity than those uh, 147s we were testing. That is looking really, really good. And this one looks like it fell right behind our gel block. So we did have this jug. It didn't make it in though. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it for that 357 SIG and see what that one can do. Here we go. All right, here we go. This one is the 357 SIG. We are stepping back to 15 feet. Let's see how we did on that one. So our cotton t-shirt is on the ground. And our impact velocity on that one was 1,407 feet per second. Hopefully you guys are able to see it before that disappeared. So we got 200 more feet per second out of that one than we did our nine millimeter. Our nine millimeter had an inch longer barrel and 
was plus p so <laughs> pretty crazy so we're gonna see how this one did all right so here is our cotton t-shirts do have our entry hole on that one and our exit hole definitely tell a little bit bigger than these other ones so there is our four layers and let's check out this entry man that is a massive wound right there huge star pattern on that one so it looks like we're getting some expansion for sure so let's check it out from the side let's get these jugs out of the way and it looks like we did get that full pass through once again but check that out man that's insane huge huge wound cavity right there coming through really really nice and same thing with this one it looks like it expanded immediately this one's going to be kind of hard to get that measurement but let's try let's see go down to the very bottom on this one and the top on this one it looks like two and three quarters looks like just shy of three inches so that's pretty good it, pretty sure that's what the last one was but it seems like this one definitely did a lot more so we came through you can see that perfect uh, spiral pattern in there again and same thing that round is sitting right there on that table so we got a full pass through but didn't make it into that jug uh, that plastic is a little bit thicker than these ones on the back so looks like we're dumping all that energy within 13 inches of that gel so that's really really good and once again we hit 1400 feet per second out of that short barrel so that is a spicy one so what we'll do is we'll uh, flip this block over so we can get a better idea what those uh, wound tracks look like and then we will compare these rounds all right check these things out guys looks like we did really good with both of these rounds actually they both got that picture perfect uniform expansion on them so the one on the left is the 124 plus p that one peeled back really really nice peeled back all the way to that base looking really really good that one was just over 1200 feet per second and we do have our 357 sig that one looks like we definitely got a tighter fold back on that pretty much went to its breaking point right there at that cantilever lock Peeled it back really nice on this one too. Picture perfect. That is one good looking round right there. So I did test this one not too long ago and got the same results in this gel. So this one's doing really, really good. Even out of that short barrel. So let's check these tracks out. The one on the left right up here is our plus P and the one on the right is the 357 SIG. So those are pretty different. That plus P is still really good, but nothing like that uh, 357. So there is that one. And let's flip around. We do have that 357 SIG track. So like I said, what I will do when I get back to the house is uh, I will cut these open so we can get that good cross section on them. So we can do a little bit better comparing. But so far so good. Looks like they uh, both penetrated about the same, uh, made it through this 13 inch block, and they dumped all their energy pretty quickly. So one more look at these. So pretty much identical. This one was 124, this one was 125, so we're off by one grain. So it's not bad at all. But there we go, that was nine millimeter versus 357 SIG in the gel. All right, check these out. These are massive. Huge, huge star pattern cuts in this gel. This is the 124 grain plus P 9 millimeter. And that thing did some major damage on this block. Huge cuts and splits. So what we'll do is we'll split it down the middle again so you guys can get the inside look. All right, hopefully this camera's picking this up okay, but look at the major damage and deep, deep cuts in this gel. Every single one of these, just way down in there. 
Some of them are super deep, like an inch and a half, if not more. But you can see quite a bit of fabric right here. This is pretty much where it uh, came in and started expanding right here. And then about an inch in, it just really started opening up. You can see quite a bit of cotton in there. That is some major damage on that. Pretty impressive. This one's really crazy looking. Split it wide open. But there we go. There was that 9mm plus P. That one was at 1200 feet per second. Alright, looks like same thing on this 357 SIG. Looks like this came in, pretty much exploded. Huge, huge, deep, wide cuts. You can definitely see some fabric right there. Same thing with this side. Just massive energy dump. Pretty impressive. And that one was coming in a little bit hotter. That one was, was right at 1400 feet per second. So pretty much expected all this major damage throughout here. So I'll cut this open again. All right, and check these out. Look how wide this is from here to here. That is quite a bit of damage. And same thing, tons of fabric coming in. So I believe that's where it started expanding. As soon as it entered right there, it just blew up. But super deep cuts in there. Lots of cotton. Same thing with this one. Looks like we have a little bit of tearing right in here. This one opens right up. Pretty crazy. This one was barely hanging on because it had so much damage to it. But tons of energy. And that one was coming in pretty hot, so definitely a lot more power coming through. But there we go. That was 357 SIG at over 1400 feet per second.